And welcome back to another Econ Podcast with Mr. Hagen. You so precious when you smile. Girl, I lose myself up in those eyes. I just have to let you know your fine. Oh, hey, we're on. Uh, Good morning, Ephatha. Sorry, I was just indulging myself in the newspaper this morning. Uh, my name is Seth. And uh, I'm Anthony. And today is April 27th, and it's a Friday. Please rise for a moment of silence in a place with a flag. Oh, hey, sorry, I was just busy reading this. Did you know that Mark Tchaikovsky, the senior, has been showcased in the art show for over three years? Wow. wow. That's quite an accomplishment. What a guy. Yeah, it's Love pretty you, amazing. Love you. Hey, do you like going to school events? Do you like taking photos? Well, then you should consider joining the Cloister at Yearbook. Starting May 1st, the club will resume their Tuesday meeting in Mr. Jeremy Bischoff's room, 318, to work on the spring edition. Any students who wish to participate in next year's book should attend. They will learn about taking pictures, captioning, and the whole yearbook process. See you there. If, uh, if you haven't noticed already, the final edition of the Mountaineer newspaper has been delivered this morning. Make sure you check out all the articles created by your peers. News, features, opinions, sports, arts, and entertainment. It's all here. Did you know that there will be two new assistant principals next year? What's happening to Mr. Kishpaw and Mrs. Mandel? Read all about it in the Mountaineer. Hey, did you guys know that Edwin Crockett, our very own Effort AM star, is an avid meme user? What does that, that even mean? mean? <laughs> Who or knows? What does that meme? <laughs> <laughs> Attention all 9th and 10th graders planning to attend college or another post-secondary school. We will be hosting a spring financial aid night in partnership with the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency on Thursday, May 10th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. In the, EH, in the EHS Auditorium. Come to learn more about career explorations, post-secondary planning, and student borrowing. Don't forget to bring your laptop and your parents. This is a great opportunity to plan for your future today. Wow, Eli Bazenga can jump really high. He's our athlete in action for this year, uh, or this month, sorry. Check it out. Anyway, attention freshmen. That's attention, freshmen. The no sub sale ends today. Remember, after today, if you have not returned anything to room 214, your name will be added to the obligation list. Return your form, money, or your form, and $2 to avoid being placed in the obligation list. Do it. Hey, did you know that Brian Barrero's favorite ride on Hershey Park is Sky Rush? Yo, same! Yo, that's pretty cool. Whoa! How about the Sky Rush part, not about Brian. Yeah. Attention freshmen, <laughs> sophomores, and juniors. Just a reminder that there are two requirements that must be met in order to receive your laptop at the start of next year. Or you can keep it during the summer. All Number right. one. Take a breath. <gasps> Let's go. All right. Students must complete the online safety and did Digital Citizenship 2018 to 2019 course on Schoology. The course opened at the start of April. It is your course menus. It's in your course menu and consists of three modules. The total runtime for the course is about 30 minutes. It's self-paced, so you can complete it all in one sitting, or you can just keep coming back to it. Through the, you can go through it all the way through the course exit ticket. Get it done. Deep breath. Deep breath. <gasps> Number two, parents or guardians must also complete the online parent acknowledgement form. This is done through a site called Permission Click. Multiple emails have been sent containing the link. The email you have on file 
for your parent or guardians can be found in your student backpack on Community Portal. One last deep breath. <sighs> A paper letter containing this same information is on the way to your parents, all of your parents. The letter should arrive by the start of next week, so even parents who haven't gotten the email yet will have access to all this information and can access the permission click form. The goal is for all students in grades 5 to 11 to have all requirements met by May 30th. That's a Wednesday. This, uh, this heading for the opinions column, X Exxon Exec and the Texan Rex is not X Sec, is really quite confusing, but I love it. Way to go, Edwin. Anyways, this announcement is for any student interested in learning about future military options. On Thursday, May 3rd, 2018, Solanco High School will be hosting a military night from 6 to 8 p.m. All students in grades 9 to 12 are welcome to attend. During this event, during this event and in the evening, students will have the opportunity to speak with multiple military branches about job training, college funding, and military service. Step down to check out the information flyer in the counseling office for more info. Now, finally, over the Mary with the news. You know, the dishonest media, they'll say, I would go with the pancakes. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hi. I was just reading this article called Up and Coming Star or Bust by our very own Clay Oberholzer about the draft last night. The ongoing meeting between North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un and South Korean President Moon Jae-in has resulted in interesting discussions. According to reports from various U.S. and European news outlets, the two leaders have agreed to begin the process of denuclearizing the entire Korean peninsula. The scrapping of the two nations' respective nuclear weapons programs could bring the two disparate nations closer together than ever before. Although there is still cause to be wary, the future of the peninsula looks bright. Today is the birthday of President Ulysses S. Grant. Aside from being known as the 18th president and for being a total babe, he was also given the title of Lieutenant General during the Civil War, a rank that had not been held by anyone since George Washington. His early life was riddled with failed small jobs, and he probably would have faded into obscurity had it not been for the Civil War. Fun fact, despite being such a good leader of like the entire Union Army, he would want his meat cooked really well done because the sight of any blood made him sick. What a guy! Hit me up if you want some Ulysses S. Grant fun facts today. Now over to the main couch with lunch. Uh, hey, hey, we were just reading Carly's perfect playlist, which has a couple great songs that you can jam to the next time you're in your car. There's uh, Delicate by Taylor Swift. Oh, I love Taylor Swift. Way to go, Carly. You're really vibing with me. Anyways, today for lunch, we have bacon cheeseburger with a whole grain roll, turkey and gravy with whole grain roll, a raging south of the border chicken sandwich. Hey, Ulysses S. Grant wouldn't like that one. <laughs> no, he would not. Great. Uh, bologna and cheese sandwich. PB&J Uncrustable. Chicken Khazar salad. <laughs> Mashed potatoes, not whipped. Sweet potatoes, still not whipped. Broccoli with cheese sauce. Non-whipped. Fresh cauliflower, <laughs> dip. Pineapple, Pineapple tidbits. tidbits. Fresh fruit. Or a slushie! Now over to the sports. Okay, uh, all right, okay, all right, okay. Did you know that some students are going to be participating in a plant sale? Let's support and root for them. Ah. <laughs> in sports results, resorts, volleyball was away at Lebanon and softball lost to Hemfield. Today in sports, baseball is home versus E-Town, boys lacrosse is home versus Warwick, girls lacrosse is away at Warwick, and softball is away at E-Town. Now back to the main couch. You just couldn't leave that alone, could you? Ah. Quite a disappointment. Uh, <coughs> did you? Hey, do you want to find out what Luke Emmerling wants to do right after high school? That's that's some pretty neat stuff right there. The college senior day is coming up. It will be held on May 11th. Here is your chance to bid on one of the seniors and dress them up in the most creative way possible. Bidding will be held in the cafeteria during your lunch from April 24th through May 8th. Seniors who choose to participate should sign up during lunch. If you have any questions, please stop down and see Mr. Marshak in room 137. Attention students who signed up for the internship next year. There will be a two brief internship meetings. The first will be held Tuesday, May 1st, 
immediately after school in Mr. King's room 207. Please arrive promptly at 2.40. The second opportunity will be held on Wednesday morning, May 2nd, during homeroom starting at 7.25, also in Mr. King's room 207. If you have signed up for an internship next year, please plan to attend one of these meetings. You can also find more information posted on Schoology. Oh, hey, did you know that Nadine Eichenlob has her own part of the newspaper? That's pretty neat. That's neat. We hope to see everyone wearing pink and orange today to represent breast cancer and leukemia. I don't have the uh, Relay for Life paper, so uh, <laughs> here you go. Today is the last day we are accepting donations for the Relay for Life. Thank you again for helping us beat cancer. Have a great day for the Reader newspaper!